If you're watching this, you've probably just rented a bed bug eradication system from Bed Bug Barbecue to Go. Or perhaps you're just interested in how to rid yourself of these pests. The following instructional video is your first step to becoming bed bug free. If you haven't already done so, you should take a quick inventory of the equipment to ensure you have everything you need. We'll be showing you how to set up the Killer Cube Kit. We also have additional kits for larger areas and the setup is explained in our handout. Kits will vary depending on your individual needs. The Killer Cube Kit. This kit will heat an area of up to 180 square feet. When positioning the Killer Cube, it is recommended to place it 10 to 12 inches away from anything in the room as the unit will get really hot. Caution must be used and you should always ensure the unit is upright and not in any danger of tipping over. One blue AF fan and one red CF fan will be placed in such a way to help the room reach the lethal temperature necessary to eradicate your bed bugs. The fans will make the areas hot like a convection oven. There is also an assortment of 12 gauge blue or yellow cords with lighted ends. Using anything less than a 12 gauge cord will not work and will damage the equipment and or your home and shall not be used. Also included is a thermal heat gun which uses a laser for checking the temperature around the room and a digital monitor which reads ambient as well as probe temperatures. Important! Do not remove anything from the room to be treated. It is recommended that you remove only those items that may be damaged by heat. See the provided checklist for items you should consider removing. Next, plug the included three blue or yellow cords into separate circuits around the house to ensure the system works properly. Do not plug any of the cords from the cube into the room you'll be treating. A recommendation is to plug one cord into your kitchen, one into your laundry room, and one into your bathroom. All must be on separate circuits or you risk your circuit breaker tripping. Or if you have a fused home, blowing a fuse. Tripping a breaker or blowing a fuse will delay the success of the operation. Once the cords are properly plugged in, Take the three cords to the cube and plug them into the front of the unit. You will notice the cords are lit on the end and this indicates you are getting power to the cords. Once you plug the cords into the cube, you should see the light come on just above the cord that indicates that the cube is receiving power. Now plug in the fans. These can be plugged into the room you are treating and you can daisy chain the fans together using the provided receptacles on the fans. The only thing you may plug into any fan is another fan. The red fan is best used for heating under beds or at baseboards to optimize heat distribution for those hard to reach areas. Next, plug the probe into the digital monitor and then place the probe between the mattress and the box springs of your bed so you can monitor the temperature during the treatment. Now it's time to allow the heat to rise. Turn on your blue and red fans. The next thing you want to do is turn on the killer cube. You'll want to turn the fan on first and the heat on second. Turning the heat on first will damage the machine resulting in a failure to get rid of the bed bugs and you don't want that. Place the timer to the on position. Keep in the on position until the temperature in the room reaches 120 degrees or above. This will keep the machine on indefinitely and means the timer is not operating. Be patient. You should wait at least one or two hours before re-entering the room to check the temperatures and ensure that all the systems are on. Point the thermal heat gun at the baseboards and other areas to check temperatures around the room. Readjust fans to blow on areas that need to reach higher heat levels. Do not leave the thermal heat gun in the room, but do leave the digital monitor in the room. Once the area reaches 120 degrees or above, you may now set the Killer Cube's timer to six hours. Once the room temperature reaches 120 degrees for one hour or more, it's time to get physical. You flip the mattresses, move nightstands, move chairs around, especially upholstered chairs or small couches, so the heat hits all sides of the furniture. If there are cold pockets, such as between tightly folded clothes, few bed bugs might survive. You want to enhance your likelihood of success by getting the entire room to lethal temperature. Move the clothes in your closet. Pull out any items that are stacked up to ensure heat gets to all areas of all items. Spread items stored in the closets or in boxes in the closet along the floor. 
open dresser drawers and nightstands and spread out those items or remove them from the drawer and put them on the floor as needed to ensure heat is getting into all of your things. The room will be getting hotter and you should ensure that you don't stay in the room too long to avoid getting overheated. Drink plenty of fluids. Water is a must. You'll want to take all of the bedding off the bed. Move the mattress off the box spring. You can also use the crate provided with the killer cube to raise the box springs off the frame to allow heat to reach the areas underneath. Check the temperature around the room and adjust the fans as necessary. Take the thermal gun and leave the room. Return every hour or two and repeat the process to effectively eradicate the bed bugs. Once the temperature has been at 120 degrees or above for six hours, turn the killer cube heat off first, then turn off the fan on the killer cube. Turn off the other fans. You are now bed bug free. Thank you for choosing Bed Bug Barbecue to go.